Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. We're at floor th ah, I said floor again. We're at level 30 of the Pit of 100 Trials. Let's keep going deeper. We're gonna do floors 31 through 40 this part. So here we go. Oh, hello, new enemy. I think you're a new enemy, aren't you? I can do this, I think, because I think you have a lot of HP that will not be destroyed by me jumping on you because you've got some defense. Yeah, you're okay. You're okay. Let's do a tattle on the Dark Koopa. That's a Dark Koopa! It lives in dark places that the light never reaches. Max HP is 8, attack is 4, and defense is 2. It's a bit tougher than a regular Koopa, so you won't be able to beat it easily. But it does have the same weakness as a regular Koopa. Flip it over, and it's helpless. Why do you think you need sunglasses down here anyway? Well, what's the point? It's saying deal with it. <laughs> Alright, since its defense is dropped, I might as well take care of it first. And now I'm gonna deal with the puzzle Parabeetle attack. Urgh! Aha! And that is the power of the Zap Tap badge. Alright. Goombella, pretty dang handy here because she can flip over the Parabeetles. And yeah, drop their defense to zero, and then we can take them out. Uh, I could just use defense penetrating attacks as well, but usually that's. It, it costs flower points to do that, and yeah, let's, let's just conserve that. I mean, we are in the pit of 100 trials after all. <laughs> So let's build some good habits while we're down here and just get used to the place as is and how you would want to play the place by conserving as much as possible. Alright, going down. Um, who's next? Oh, Hyper. Oh, that's, that's a tough enemy. <laughs> Um, I don't really. I guess Yoster. Yeah. No, no! I hammered the wrong way. <laughs> well, at least that Zap Tap badge will do a little bit of damage, but this is what I wanted to do here. Um, use the Gulp and Defense Penetrates, like so. Just wipe them out right away. Um, what I'll be able to do here with Mario is knock it and disable it. It'll probably pop back up on this turn, yeah, that's what I thought. But I'll just be able to disable it again. Oh yeah. No problem whatsoever. Yeah, stylish. Woo! Oh, missed the second stylish. That's okay. I got all my uh, star points back so I could use another sweet treat if I need to, or sweet feast if things get a little dicey. But yeah, stylish moves, very, very handy to use in the Pit of 100 Trials, so master them before you come down here, or at least master them to an extent, just so that you don't end up in a uh, situation where you have to use items, if at all possible, because as I said before, you really, really want to conserve your items in this place, and good god, they've got some good items. <laughs> um, um, alright, let's do that, and, um, this is getting tricky, um, uh, would like to, eh, oh, oh, <laughs> How about I... Well, they're all ground enemies. Hmm... How about if I do... Uh, coops. Not literally do coops. I would be... Yeah, oh, forget it. <laughs> Aha! Dodged. Alright. Now what I'm going to do here is a multi-bounce. Because they're all shell enemies. And yeah, I'm ignoring the stylish move up there on purpose. I just want to make sure that I get all of them there. Because I want to do... That! Rah! Now that's a nice sweet. All right, they have this attack. I forgot about that. That was a bad move on my part then. Mm. Oh, I'm sorry, Koops. That was my fault. That was entirely my fault. Well, I'll survive. I hope. <laughs> there we go. It's not that big of a deal. Um, Koops got the brunt of that. 
for the most part. And uh, I'll be because you know a uh, partner HP isn't quite as important as Mario's HP because you know when Mar with Mario's HP, um, you know if Mario goes down, everyone goes down. But if part partner goes down, well, you can just swap partners, <laughs> like swap partners either during battle or uh, after battle. Oh God, there's another one. Um, how about <sighs> Goombella? She's got the jump like move that can flip enemies like this so yeah here we go oh boy uh, yeah I think I'm gonna take out the um, shady uh, Koopas like this one at a time just to divide and conquer uh, when, when they're flipped over on their back that's a problem <laughs> if you didn't realize that so yeah I can take that one damage without much issue but when when they attack both you and your partner at the same time with a boosted attack, that's... That's a spicy meatball. <laughs> Alright. And... Ow! I failed to guard that. Alright, now it should be fine. Because it's going to do a little bit of damage there and do a little more damage there. And... Gumela will be able to finish it right off. Woo! Delightful. Alright. Go, 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 mm. I said before that I wanted to get through these battles fairly quickly because, you know, these are just the regular old battles. Uh, what floor are we on? Level 34, okay. Still got five more floors to go before we reach the next pit stop items place dealio thing. Oh, Flower Fuzzy. Mm. That flower Fuzzies in this place, a little bit dangerous because... Uh, they steal the very thing that you need to sustain your... Well, I don't want to say sustain yourself. The thing that you need to um, sort of keep yourself together, I, I guess, to try and conserve your uh, conserve your stats. Um, oh boy. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do Earth Tremor. <laughs> because if they keep stealing your flower points, that's... That's kind of an issue, and you know, if they start multi-attacking you and your partner, that's also an issue, so let's just go right through these suckers. It's kind of interesting that these flower fuzzies actually need to steal flower points from you in order to attack, you know, because their, their specialty is special attacks in on themselves. And you'd think that they would start out with the battle with some flower points to be able to use, but no, no they actually have to take stuff from you in order to be able to attack so they're entirely reliant on the things that pass by them in order for them to defend themselves it's kind of it's kind of odd like that and why did i check that i don't know <laughs> um what does goombella have to say about this oh god no not another one of these what does she have to say about this place by the way whoops i want to this is a bit of 100 trials i find your seeds lead, lead down forever Still, still, your seems kind of fresh here. Guess it's falling down from above, huh? Uh, I guess it's the same thing no matter what floor um, you have her do her tattle on. So I guess I won't have to do any more tattle checks from here on out. Oh no. That one's got a Mr. Softener. Well, actually, that's not bad if it uses the Mr. Softener. Uh, because if it uses the Mr. Softener, it's going to burn a turn. Um, I don't want to flip it over because I think it's, it's also got that attack where it gets more powerful as it flips over and uh, appeal. I'm just gonna play it safe here. Okay, there we go. I'm fine with that. I'm okay with that. As long as it burns the turn, I am perfectly fine with that because if I knock it out, it doesn't matter what my defense is at. Oops. Uh, oops, no, no. Attack. There we go. <laughs> so, yeah, see that? Even though my defense was dropped, it didn't matter because it didn't have a chance to actually attack. So, there we go. And... Oh, I actually got a Mr. Softener for myself. As well as some recovery poopers. And... Explore... Oh, not another one of these. <laughs> Back to the Oster. Aha! Ho, ho, ho. This time my hammer was not facing the wrong way. <laughs> uh, it's not going to knock you out, will it? Nope, it won't. I didn't think so. 
Alright, so here's what I'm gonna do. Finish this one off with the hammer, because it'll divide and conquer. In case I fail on this gulp, but I don't think I'll fail on this gulp. That's what I thought. Yeah! Damageless battle. I'm leveling up one star point at a time still. <laughs> Alright. Let's move on. With the groove on. Right. Let him go in the pipe, thank you. <laughs> Someday, I swear, the pipes are just against me. Uh, Parabeetle Goombella. Rah! I just like to have a jumping partner out when it comes to um, uh, shelled enemies. Oh, God, no! <laughs> Why? Things are getting a lot tougher here. Alright, I'm just gonna take care of the Shady Koopas first. Because they are probably the most dangerous. Ugh! Especially since I've got that lovely Zap-Tap badge on. Which will take care of stuff very nicely. Well, at least, I should say, knock down their HP very nicely so I can, like, um chisel away at it gradually while I take care of the bigger threat. There we go! Ah! Mm, oh, it seems like the Zap Tap only works on the ones that are out of their shell. It's kind of interesting, I guess. Mm, there we go. Mm, I thought the Zap Tap badge was sort of defense penetrating, but I guess not. Ah, uh, oh, mistimed that. It was so close to me, it was hard to time. Uh, like, enemies, enemy position on the screen uh, can actually throw off your timing just a little bit like that, because you're used to timing it as they're coming at you from a distance, you know, like visually. But if you're timing it, um, if they're really close to you, you just don't really have the, the time to react to it like you would if they were at a distance. Uh, unless, you know, you know their attack pattern like by heart and you're able to just do it each and every time regardless of their position on the screen. Um, I, I, I can do that to an extent, but not as consistently as I would like to. Alright. Oh, construction guys. You are so noisy. <laughs> oh. Oh dear. <laughs> oh, it's fine, I suppose. Um, what if... What if I were to say... I don't want to flip the Shady Koopa. Like, sh could I do that and it won't flip him? Okay. that That's pretty nice there. I don't mind if it raises the defense. Just as long as I don't flip the Shady Koopa. Because I knew the other one was going to use its item. Well, I, I thought it was going to use its item. I shouldn't say no. Because, you know, you don't you never know what the enemy AI is going to do. But typically, when um, enemies use an attack, they... They do it in a way that, I mean, when they when enemies have an item, excuse me, they they do it, they use the item immediately when it comes their turn. That's just how things work. And now since the defense is up, is this going to do anything to it? I, uh-oh. Um, I shouldn't have done that. Um, yeah, that's what I thought. Crapper zappers! <laughs> Alright, there we go, its defense is back to normal there. Yeah, I should have paid more attention there. I guess that Courage Shell did make a difference. Ugh. I should have used an uh, um, Earth Tremor instead, but well... Too late now! I'll have to remember that when I go through the pit again. Uh, I mean, I should say go through these floors again a little bit later. Alright. Alright, here we go. Next floor. Oh, it's the end! Oh yeah! What's at the end? It's a pity flower! Mario takes damage, occasionally you recover one flower point. And if you don't remember, um, you'll find Charlton um, at every at every 10th floor every so often, and you can check out his items to get some stuff if you need them, but be warned, his items are really expensive down here, so... Yeah! <laughs> so if you want to... Make sure you get through the pit. Also, come down with a bunch of coins, just in case you need to buy more items along the way. But, uh, oh wait, what did you have to say? Um, oh, are you not interested, my man? That's too bad, seriously. It's all hot, and I mean rare stuff. And you never know when you're gonna wish you had some of this gear, my man. Okay, well, anyway, since I've reached level number 40, I'm gonna end off the part here. 
I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part. I really hope the construction workers stop working by the next part. <laughs>